Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Is this normal for when it doesn't work out for the cheater slash initiator of divorce? Advice. Hi, I'd love to hear experiences from anyone who has experienced something like this. I, M36, was split up by my wife of 12 years, F35, we have three kids. I did most things right and provided well, but she had an affair with a colleague on a warm trip and blew up everything abruptly and was very definitive. I was crushed but accepted it. She started off sweet as pie, saying she wants me to be happy and for us to both meet people we deserve. I moved out of the house, and gave her nearly all the assets. Seeing kids was fine, until she became single within a few months and after a successful family court appearance, for a male, we now have shared care. I've since had a glow up, am dating a, F24, no kids, have a great relationship with my kids and am living my best life. All I'm receiving from her is pure toxicity and games though. A refusal to discuss the children, lawyers letters over petty matters and seems to be a lot of anger and blame. Changeovers usually result in her yelling and slamming doors, the emotions are never reciprocated. I've heard that her career, dating app experience hasn't been great. Despite all of this, most of the school moms have her side completely and she's even told them not to deal with me or invite my kids to things while in my care. The general consensus seems to be, she must have a good reason for it. The sisterhood is strong, I'm jealous. I also seem to get a lot of shame for dating a child and everyone has the trope in their head about the guy cheating and trading in for a younger, hotter model. Not what happened here, but doesn't seem accepted in the community as well. Has anyone experienced anything like this? Would appreciate ladies opinions in particular here as I just want to move on but it seems impossible. I just want a cohesive co-parenting relationship with kids and for us both to move on. What do I do? Thanks. My ex cheated with a co-worker. She was not around much the last two years of our marriage, so I went for full custody. As soon as I filed she turned into supermom. The court sport it and there's split custody. Now she's incredibly involved in the school and has made friends with the parents of our kids' friends. Those parents will barely say hi and won't let their kids come to my house, but they will let them go to my exes. So there's no doubt my ex has been badmouthing me. Every year I have to explain to the kids teachers that it's 50-50 custody, and I'm not just every other weekend dad. Had to make a copy of our divorce decree for the school to have to prove it. I've gotten to the point where I just ignore it, my kids know I'm a good dad. Are you me? Well to be fair, I wouldn't send any of my children to a single dad's house, and when I was single dad, I understood fully that my daughter's friends weren't coming over for the same reason. Sucks, but completely understandable in my opinion. The bit about the schools though, that's infuriating. I went through the same with my children from my first marriage. Even now, as a married man with two more school-aged children, I get ignored by teachers and administrators until I protest. Edit, I understand this is an unpopular position, but I am the child of a CSA survivor and the nephew of another. So if I'm going to make a mistake here, it's going to be on the side of caution. Not looking for anyone to agree. Don't care. But just consider that you would have sent your children to my grandfather's house. And then consider that to this day, no one outside of me, my mother and my uncle, and their other siblings who only escaped the same fate because of my mother, knows the monster my grandfather was. Yeah but when you send your kid to anyone's house, you run the risk of other people being over. It would be better to meet and trust the parents of your child's friend. Male or female. Sad you're being like that for single dads only. Yeah but when you send your kid to anyone's house, you run the risk of other people being over. That's a fair point. TF man? Sorry most of us aren't pedophiles, and pedophiles come in both genders and have straight and gay preferences. 
I wouldn't send any of my children to a single dad's house. Two of my children are boys. You're not the first person to talk about probability. The problem is it only takes one. Edit, but while we're on probability and statistics, you're aware the vast majority of CSA perpetrators are men, correct? What's wrong with you that daughters must be kept away? I don't think it's understandable I think it's sexist as shit, but you agree with it so I guess you know something I don't. CSATW I was molested by my best friend's mom's boyfriend when I was 7. So it's not even about the parents for some of us, it's about who they might bring into the home. You have no idea. Exactly. By this logic, teen boys should be prohibited from single mom's homes. I agree. I'm sure this will get downvoted too, but I'm the child of a CSA survivor, and if I'm going to make a mistake, it's going to be on the side of caution. Apparently I do know something you don't. LOL. I know that the vast majority of rapist pedophiles are men. I know that sexual abuse, including incest, can go undetected for decades, and you never really know who you're placing your children in the care of. I also know that we live in a very sexist world. Do you have children? The vast majority of single fathers are not abusing their kids or anyone else's, just like single mothers aren't. Also you seem to imply that despite viewing men as predators you'd still be okay with boys being around them but not girls. As if boys can't be victims. I get where you're coming from, truly, but I honestly think this type of fear mongering will hurt the development of plenty of kids as they miss out on opportunities other kids had simply cause they have a single parent. You can protect your child without ruining their childhood lol. But that's no longer your problem anymore as you're no longer a single dad. The vast majority of single fathers are not abusing their kids or anyone else's, just like single mothers aren't. You're right. The issue, however, is that this isn't about probability for anyone. It's about possibility. I mean the likelihood of a kid getting kidnapped is extremely low, and the vast majority of adults aren't kidnappers, yet we do all sorts of things to prevent that possibility, right? Why do we do those things? Because of the kids who got kidnapped. Not the ones who didn't. Also you seem to imply that despite viewing men as predators you'd still be okay with boys being around them but not girls. As if boys can't be victims. No. It just so happens that my children from my first marriage were both girls. If they were boys the same would have applied. Fear mongering. You don't get where I'm coming from. Well, either that or you don't have kids. You can protect your child without ruining their childhood lol. How? Say you send your kids to someone's house. When they come home, how are you so sure you know what happened there? Common misconception. The majority of educator sexual misconduct is committed by men. Women educators just get the headlines. I would go ahead and delete that comment if I was you. Nope, the majority of the headlines are about women. Most of the teachers preying on their students are men. I wouldn't send any of my children to a single dad's house. What? Why? Unfortunately, this is how much of the world is these days. All men are deemed to be predators. See what happens to single men in children's playgrounds. I don't have a problem with people vetting me, but just to outright deny based on the fact I'm a single dad? Yeah, you're part of the problem. You probably call the cops on single dads at the park playing with their own children because they are creeping on kids. Reddit, in a nutshell. My opinion is unpopular, and perhaps unreasonable. And I have my reasons for holding that opinion, and for those reasons I will stick to it. But the above is a stretch. A Reddit-esque stretch. SMH. Nah, it's happened. Probably not as often as they call cops on Pook, but it happened to me. You just have to show them your ID and then they ask the kids what their names are and if they are okay. I'd rather be overly cautious, you said it yourself. Of course it's happened. I am a pook, and I've experienced it myself. What's Reddit-esque here is your logical leap straight to this guy must be stupid, bigoted, misogynistic, or whatever else and he'd probably go to any length to harm another dad. 
just. So Reddit. Not really much of a logical leap from single men are bad I won't let my kids near them to single men are bad, I must protect my kids from them using the police. Maybe it's not you personally that's going to call the police, but the fact remains, all men get the shaft for what a few assholes do. There's a reason a staggering majority of primary teachers are women, men are seen as perverts if they want to take care of kids. Just saying no I won't allow it further perpetuates the problem. Imagine if I said I wouldn't let my kids over to someone's house if they were a puck because I was carjacked by one, I'd be rightfully crucified. Single men are bad I won't let my kids near them. I never said that. You're making my point for me. Well to be fair, I wouldn't send any of my children to a single dad's house, and when I was single dad, I understood fully that my daughter's friends weren't coming over for the same reason. Sucks, but completely understandable in my opinion. You literally did, right there. I wouldn't send any of my children to a single dad's house. That's not the same as anywhere near. But hey, you're the logical leap guy so I get it. Have a nice day. Did you tell people what happened? Yeah I did. Lots of, oh that must suck, but the social strings were always controlled by the women so I understand the loyalty going to her. I think a lot of the other women saw themselves in her position and it scares them. That's a good insight. I think you're probably right. Uck, my ex-wife is becoming president of the PTA and basically implied that it was to make sure our sons were socially isolated when they were with me. 50-50, she cheated and moved her AP in within a month of me moving out. All I can do is try to raise them well, and when they're old enough to question their mom about why the boyfriend immediately moved in, they'll see what happened for themselves. Your ex is pure evil. She is a cake eater and now that your life is going better than hers she can't, handle it. She is jealous and will do anything to crush you, you know that right? You need to turn the table, you need to let those under her spell that you traded her in know that she blew up the marriage by cheating. What do you have to lose at this point, she is going to try and destroy you no anyway so why not take the offensive and call her out for the evil piece of track she is. Sorry, but if a man was doing this he would be crucified but now it is the poor ex-wife and this always happens by the WW husband, it is bullshit women can be just as evil and mean as men. I have seen it. By all outside facing accounts, she definitely is doing better than I am. I moved to the hood, I'm perpetually broke as shit because I had to move to the hood and perpetually fix something in my house. She doesn't tell people I traded her in, she tells them I was an abusive monster that escaped. Nobody would believe my side of things, so I just have learned to cut out people who don't want to also hear my side of things. It sucks, but it's not for forever. Staying married to her would have been. And I'm glad that it's over. So sorry bro. She is evil and there is no reason to destroy you. Try and live your best life. Mention to some of the women how she used to go after married friends of yours. Women will distance themselves from her. There's no doubt in my mind she's telling people you're the one who cheated. She does it for two reasons, it's less shameful to be the victim and she doesn't want single moms thinking they can comfort you in your time of need. My first wife received approximately $4,000 per month in alimony and $900 in CS for 7 years. She told everyone, including my children, that I was giving her nothing at all, and that all the money she was spending was her money. When one of my kids accidentally let slip what they'd been told, I gathered them all together and had them watch me write and mail the checks. Ignore her. Ignore the other moms. Enjoy your new woman. Don't worry about what others think and live your life to the fullest. As long as your ex keeps doing what you are doing. Sounds like things didn't go the way she thought they would and now she is resentful of your success in moving on. You have a young girlfriend and a good life after divorce. This was supposed to be her life. Nothing you can do about the way people see this. All you can do is live your best life and hope the same for her. Yes, it makes you laugh when the WP fog wears off or their relationship with the AP is not great. The BS is doing well in handling this. Yes his is. 
From his story it sounds like she left thinking her and AP were going to live happily ever after. Sounds like he dropped her soon after the divorce. I could be wrong, but that's what I am getting from his post. Yeah. I got she must have a had a reason. A lot. She also trashed me to some of our mutual friends, friends she inherited from me, and they stopped speaking to me, even though her cheating was well documented, literally, because she must have had a reason. Fortunately, we didn't have kids, which made it easier, so we didn't have to deal with what you're going through with yours and co-parenting. I'll never understand why the cheaters are so damned spiteful, after the fact. They, ostensibly, got what they wanted, right? My ex put down our dog without telling me. We had been North Carolina since the breakup, but I always told her to contact me if our dog needed anything or got sick, etc. She didn't, just to be vicious. I'm sorry you're dealing with this spiteful bullshit, man. I, 36M, went through a divorce in 2020 and I am now dating my girlfriend, 28F, and to be honest that is a big difference in age for me. We just grew up in different times and I would say the biggest difference between us is social media. I rarely use it, mostly Reddit and a little Instagram, but she uses it a bunch. She tries to give me TikTok facts and I have to constantly tell her that TikTok is not a reputable source and to do real research for facts. Besides that we are pretty good together but I couldn't date anyone younger. I wasn't even close to mature at 24 so I can see where people would say something about the age gap. All in all, if it works for you guys then that's great. Sounds like she has a bad case of buyer's remorse. Grass was greener until it wasn't and I'd bet my last paycheck she was hoping to get back together. Typical delusional cheater thoughts. Now you have someone younger slash prettier and she can't do a damn thing about it except act like a petulant child. If you haven't already you should try and sit her down and have a civil conversation. Tell her you just want peace and she needs put her torches and pitchfork down as she's already burned down your house. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.